evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we are doing exactly what I promised. If you guys wanted to see this Light Sworn deck profile, and I'm telling you, it's too much sauce, then go ahead and destroy that video right there. Just go ahead and hit it. It'll take you right to the deck profile. This video, I'm going to be giving you guys some test hands and the major combo. So I was talking a lot about Curious George. And basically what Curious does um, is he requires three monsters with the same attribute but different types. And he's fairly easy to summon and not by the conventional means that you would think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the combo before I get you guys some test scans. But essentially, uh, the only thing you need is Predaplant or for Scorpio and a card to discard. And you'll make the board that you need. If you have other cards in your hand, it makes the combo so much better. So I'm just gonna say Predaplant or for Scorpio and I'm gonna give myself a Raiden light sword because you know another monster it helps like tremendously with some extension combos you're gonna wind up with curious plus minerva and depending on what you mill you can go so much more deeper so you're gonna summon orphan scorpio uses the fact to discard that card from your hand to the graveyard it legitimately does not matter so i'm just gonna send nothing i'm just it well we're gonna send the wolf we drew the wolf because that happens um with that i am going to summon where's that card i'm gonna summon darlington cobra Darlington Cobra is going to trigger its effect to add me Brilliant Fusion from my deck to my hand. Next, I'm going to use the Orpha Scorpio and Darlington Cobra to Exceed Summon for X Saber Invoker. Where are we? And then X Saber Invoker is going to activate its effect, sending Darlington Cobra to the graveyard to Special Summon Halbert to my side of the field. Now, I know you guys are like, why special summon the Halberd? If you don't have the Halberd in your hand, you want to get it to the graveyard as fast as possible, and this is the best way. Use the Halberd and the MX Saber Invoker to summon the Mrs. Radiant to your side of the field. And this is basically where our old combo used to stop. That's why we ran the Brilliant Fusion. That's why we did all that great stuff. We'd activate the Brilliant Fusion, summon the Shraft Knight and the Mrs. Radiant Link, and then we have a lot of cards to play with. This time around, we can do so much more. You're gonna activate the Brilliant Fusion to send the Gym Knight Garnet and the Trick Clown from your deck to your graveyard. So here's the Garnet, and here is the Trick Clown. And that's gonna special summon Gym Knight, Seraph Knight in a column. So I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here, it's gonna be in the farthermost link. Now your Trick Clown is going to trigger to special summon itself. And since you took damage, your Thousand Blades is gonna trigger to special summon itself. You're going to use your second summon to summon any level 4 monster. I'm going to use it for this Raiden. And then I'm going to activate Raiden's effect to send two more cards from my deck to my graveyard. Next, I'm going to use the Halbert, the Mrs. Radiant, and the Gym Knight Seraph Knight. All as another Link summon for, you guys guessed it, Curious George. Now, Curious George will trigger his effect, sending any card that you want from your deck to your graveyard. If you don't have it, I strongly suggest you you send Fairy Tale Snow, but you can also send quite a few other cards. If you have access to, uh, to Earth Monsters on your board, sending cards like Glow of Bulb to the graveyard is awesome. If you have already Fairy Tale Snow in your graveyard, sending Giant Rex to the graveyard is also awesome because when Fairy Tale Snow activates its effect, it can special summon Giant Rex by banishing it. So the next thing I want to do is use Raiden and Four Mage Trick Clown to make Minerva. And then I'm going to use Minerva's effect, discard, detaching the Raiden Hand of Light Sworn to send three cards from my deck to my graveyard. Curious George's effect is going to activate to send three additional cards from my deck to the graveyard. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 44, 42, 43. I have 43 cards. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I still have my hand. So 1, 2, 3. I have 40 cards left in my deck. Three cards in my hand. Um, depending on what I mill with Minerva, I actually might have more cards in my hand. And this is an extremely good combo, and it sets you up for life, basically. You can build off this combo. I don't see you losing too many games when you pull off this combo. Consequently, if you're really afraid of your opponent, you don't have to make the Minerva. You can go ahead and make the Baguska instead. And basically, not only do you have the same thing as a Deco Baguska, you can turn off all your opponent's card effects, so our monster effects. So it's pretty good, and that then switch it to attack. And if you have those monsters, just go to freak off. So now that I'm done with the main combo, that is like the biggest combo. I guess I can show you guys quite a few test hands, and we'll get this ball rolling. This deck is really good. I guess 
You can say I came over to the light side. No, nope. I'm not light skinned, so I ain't going to the light side. So let me fix this deck real quick. And yes, again, the consistency of this deck, it's Light Sworn. Light Sworn is notorious for drawing cards that you just don't need. I mean, that's just how it is. Let me put that away as well. So shuffling my deck, I hope I get a really good hand. We can hope for something good. And let's see what we got. We got, okay, Wolf, perfect. Fairy Tale Snow, Fairy Tale Snow, Left Arm Offering. No, that just saves the hand. Charge of the Light Brigade, perfect. That that's a lot better than what I first expected. Um, there's two ways we can go about it. We can risk it for the biscuit and try to play around not banishing both our Fairy Tale Snows with Left Arm Offering. Try to charge a Light Brigade and see what we can do, or we can just go ahead summon a Fairy Tale Snow. Uh, uh, I, I still would activate the charge and then activate left arm offering. Um, what I would do in this best situation, I try to avoid using the left arm offering, but I definitely charge. So Felice, Brilliant Fusion, Grass is Greener. That changes the entire landscape of what we just did. Unfortunately, this isn't the best of hands. You guys could have opened up with left arm offering. I wasn't expecting out of my 50 whatever cards left, one of the cards to be milled with Grass is Greener, but that's the price you have to pay So sometimes. Um, I can still do the Brilliant Fusion combo, which is kind of good, but I won't have any monsters on the field to second summon, so I would just go ahead and get the Raiden, summon the Raiden, and activate Raiden's effect, sending two cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard, which is Felice, and a left arm offering, perfect, that's going to summon Felice to my side of the field, I'm going to use both the Felice and the Raiden, to make Minerva, and Minerva is a pretty safe bet most of the time, mainly because we play so many Light Sword monsters. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed that we'll draw lights or mill Light Sword monsters off, but the odds are in our favor since we play so many. So using Minerva's effect, we're gonna send Gamma, we're gonna send a Light Sword monster, and we're gonna send Soul Charge, that's fine. And that's gonna get us an additional draw. We're gonna activate the Solar Recharge. Oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna send the Wolf, we're gonna draw a Solar Recharge, we're gonna draw Orphan Scorpio, which sets us up for next turn. And then we're gonna mill Minerva. We're gonna mill Desires, and then Minerva's gonna build us the second Brilliant Fusion. All right, so I think we set ourselves up in a pretty decent condition. We have quite a few cards in the graveyard. We have the Orphan Scorpio in hand. I couldn't get Fairy Tale Snow to the graveyard this turn, but it kind of worked itself out in this hand. And this is considered a terrible hand. For my next draw, I would have drawn the Wolf. So obviously we would have Solar Recharged that one to draw two and then mill two, and it doesn't really matter because now I have the Orphus Scorpio to send the Fairy Tale Snow from my hand to the graveyard. I have the Left Arm Offering to add cards like Desires to my hand to get two additional cards. So we kind of found our way out of that completely terrible hand. And when I mean terrible, that was, I was like, damn, I hope I don't gotta put this on, but it turned out to be all right. Uh, another test hand. And again, there are plenty of combos in this deck, but a lot of them are really small niche combos. They're not, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the premise of the deck and then just a couple more test hands. So shuffling the deck one more again. I am going to draw an Orbital Highlander. Okay. Solar Recharge. We have a high percent chance of drawing a Light Sworn monster with Solar Recharge since we play so many Light Swords. Uh, Twilight Enchantress. Orphis Scorpio. Ash Blossom. This is a pretty good hand. But I'm going to get greedy. I know I shouldn't. I should start off with the Orphan Scorpio. I'm going to go ahead and Solar Recharge. Knowing my luck, I'm going to draw or mill the Darlington Cobra. Another Orphan Scorpio. A Charge of the Light Brigade. We're going to mill the Desires. We're going to mill the Judgment Dragon. All right, so we're, we're in there. So basically, I do the normal combo. I would summon the Orphan Scorpio. All right, sorry about that, guys. My camera overheated, probably from this fire-ass combo I'm about to do. So of course, you use the Orphan Scorpio and the Darlington Cobra to make the Invoker, Invoker effect to detach the Darlington Cobra. Doesn't really matter, but we're gonna detach the Darlington Cobra. Two special summon the Thousand Blades. Thousand Blades plus the Invoker to make the Mrs. Radiant. And then, uh, Brilliant Fusion to activate itself to send, of course, we're going to send the Perform Age Trick Clown and the Gym Knight Garnet from our decks to the graveyard to summon the Gym Knight Seraph Knight to our side of the field. Um, 
So the Brilliant Fusion is actually right here. Let me clean this up a little bit. That's going to trigger the Trick Clown, paying a thousand light points to summon itself, which is going to trigger also the thousand blades in itself uh, to summon itself. So we're going to get the thousand blades in attack and then the Trick Clown right there. And this possible situation, I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to activate Charger Light Brigade first to see what I mill. We milled the Snow, we milled the Wolf, and we milled the Lumina. Okay, so Wolf is going to get summoned to our side of the field. And then we are going to gain, where are we going to gain it? We are going to gain Raiden from our deck to our hands. I'm going to use the Gem Knight Summon to summon our Raiden. So our board is looking, actually that will go right here. Our board is looking pretty damn full with all of these monsters. So I'm going to use the Mrs. Radiant, the Seraph Knight, and the Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades to Link Summon into, you guys guessed it, Dominion. Now, Dominion's effect is going to activate, and since, again, I already have Fairy Tale Snow in the graveyard, I don't have any Earth monsters. I'm going to go ahead and send... Where is that card? The Giant Rex from my deck to the graveyard. That's a good filler card. If I found a way... If I can find a way to also send... Uh, what's that card name? If I found a way to also send Global from my deck to my graveyard, then I'm making the Notoria Beast right now. I can do that by risking it for the Biscuit, uh, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Wolf and the Trick Clown to make Minerva. Six cards out of my deck should give me enough. So we're going to mill the Wolf and cross our fingers. That's going to mill three cards. Foolish Burial, Fairy Tale Snow, Wolf. And then our other three cards, Cypher and Omega, Solar Recharge, Maxi. We'll take the Constellation Prize to the extra wolf to our side of the field, and we'll use those two monsters to make the Omega. So now we have Omega, Minerva, Curious, uh, Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, and an Orbital Highlander. Uh, what I could do is activate the Omega right now. Actually, is there another? Huh. I don't have another monster I would really want to go into, but we can do it. We'll activate the Omega right now. Looking at my graveyard, that's an extra monster. That's an extra monster. So we have two extra monsters. So one, two, three. I think those are all extra monsters. Four, five, six, seven. Just banish all seven of those. We're gonna banish seven cards to summon our fairy tale snow. And since Giant Rex was banished, it's gonna summon itself. We're gonna use the Giant Rex and the uh, fairy tale snow to make the tornado dragon. Then we're gonna summon Orbital Highlander. So um, keep in mind, we can use the tornado dragon. I think it's on the field, right? Yeah, we can use the tornado dragon to destroy the brilliant fusion. So now we have. The Orbital, Orbital Highlander for the destruction, Minerva for the mill and the double mill with Curious. Um, we also have Tornado Dragon for the back row destruction, and we have a Cypher and Lord Omega coming back with an Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. If you guys say that this deck is not competitive, you can go eat a dick. I don't really know what else to tell you. So that is a pretty good board right there. I'll give you guys one more test hand. I think one more test hand would do. I'm not really 100% uh you know with this test hand thing uh, you know i want to know what you guys think about these test hands um if i should do more if i shouldn't do more if i suck at it if my commentary is, like, just just let me know down below in the description or in the comment section and we'll do one more test hand hopefully i don't get uh the brilliant fusion combo because i'm just gonna do the exact same thing again and just make a stupid good board but uh shuffling it Oh man, I can't wait to see what we got here. We draw Giant Rex, Raiden, Glow Bulb, Minerva, Left Arm Offering. Huh. That's actually not terrible. We're gonna summon the Raiden and activate Left Arm Offering. Left Arm Offering is gonna banish the Giant Rex, so it's gonna get summoned to its side of the field. And then we're going to add that grass is greener. Our opponents have 35 cards in their deck on average since they play a 45 card deck or a 40 card deck. And we have used six cards. So we're going to mill 19, if I'm correct. One, two, three, four. So yeah, we're going to mill 19. 
Hopefully we get the hand that we need. Because sometimes this mill game can be, man, it can be bad. So 19 cards. One, two, oh, already, we already milled the three. I heard the snow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, wow, I have never, well I haven't in a long time, milled Triple Wolf. That is fucking bananas. Triple Wolf, Triple Fairy Tale Snow. That is going to be, I don't know, I would probably scoop up, the, I, I just scoop up and walk away. Or no, not Triple Wolf, but Double Wolf. I'd probably just get up and walk away if, if I saw this type of board. But we still have to find a way we can commit a Dominion to the board. So all I have to do is banish seven cards. One, uh, two, three. Well, nah. Yeah, because I don't, I don't need Highlander. Four, five, six, seven. We'll summon the Fairy Tale Snow. Then we'll use Raid in the Mill too. I forgot all about that. I probably should have did that first. Then we'll use the Snow, the Raiden, and the Wolf, since they're all different, to summon the Dominion. Unfortunately, I banished my Glow Bulb, or I would have made the Notoria Beast. So here's Dominion. This is our board currently. And Dominion's effect triggers. Now we get to send another card from our deck to our graveyard. And I think I've gotten rid of all of our Sendables. Nope, we still got more Ridiculousness stuff. I'm gonna send Trick Clown from my deck to my graveyard. Trick Clown's gonna activate. And then that's going to trigger the Thousand Halberd since I took a Thousand Damage. All right. If you guys... I don't even know what to tell you. This deck's kind of ridiculous. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and make Minerva. Using the Giant Rex. Yeah, because I don't have access to Global. The Giant Rex and the Wolf. And we're going to send the Giant Rex to the Graveyard to mill six. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that didn't matter. And then I, I'm very interested. I think, I don't want to make the Baguska. So we'll just go ahead. No tuners, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and use these two to make Tornado Dragon. You guys can make the Baguska, but unfortunately your Minerva will be offline um, for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me make some really disgusting boards with this deck because again it's a pretty damn good deck and i hope it convinced you to look into this light sword build thank you guys so much if you want to see more like this just like hit that comments button do what you guys got to do i enjoy doing this please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy